Red is got amazing. Like, I don't think she loses to many top tiers, if any at all. But she zoners, I know, are a little bit harder for her. So I, I don't know about this match specifically. That's what I would think we'll the plan see. is for uh, for Pokelam Elam here. Um, so zone him out. Yeah, zone him out. Like, but and then oh, yeah. and then once um, zone him out until Ling Ling can get in, and then when Ling Ling gets in, convert it to 69% damage every time, and and then try to just sort of take the stock by winning neutral. Right. Um, I mean, the turnips can I guess? Ooh, that was fantastic. He just yeah, that was he like knew how to deal with the. Um, I feel like the villager matchup, the question they're asking is, do you know how to deal with Lloyd Rocket a lot of the time without, like, you know, you can't just jump over it or shield it every time. No, because no, then he'll just uh, swat you out of the air with his forward air. Right. And Ling Ling, Ling Ling is showing, like, Ling Ling knows what to do, and Peach's interesting movement options can, can give Ling Ling extra capacity to move around it. Yeah, he hasn't he hasn't gotten he hasn't gotten tricked by any of those um, any of those Lloyd rockets yet. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow! Just it just goes for the grab again. Mash it grab again. Wow, that was pretty far away for the strong hit. I wouldn't have expected that to be strong hit, but that takes. Yeah, that was very generous. <laughs> the game kind of just gave it that one to him. Ooh, got that turn up. Got the turn up. Threw it oh, away. Is he gonna make that? Doesn't want it. Whoa, he can float under there for a while. Yeah, I mean, uh, villagers recovery. I feel like it's one just of the infinite. best. In the like, like you're, you're <laughs> always gonna well get be. back. Even if you like destroy the balloons, it's like they still get back every time. Yeah, because they just pop up even further, which defies all laws of physics. But there's no hitbox on it, so maybe like Ling Ling can float in air to, to punish it. Um, yeah, yeah, but yeah. We haven't seen that yet. Ling Ling is down, so Ling Ling got to make something happen. Um, Elam is, I mean, if I'm Elam, I'm just going to zone out, right? I'm, I'm going to, yeah. <laughs> Keep your distance so you can avoid the Haymaker hits that will kill you, but. Oh, he's got a winky face. That's high damage, right? So. Yeah, I, think it's, I believe that's the second strongest one. Right, like after Stitch face. face? I believe so. But he wasn't able to convert it into anything big. But I mean, it's this is one peach combo away from even, right? Oh that my God. like why? Why is what that, did that do, like thirty percent damage? <laughs> That's so stupid. Interesting. Like, I, I wonder what the thought is behind the tree, is like on the corner, because he seems to put the tree on the corner a lot, and I I guess it just helps when you get them in like a ledge trap situation, you know? Right. But um, I don't really know. I don't really know what the purpose of it is. But I'm still curious. Like that out. That's good coverage. Put the Lloyd Rocket at the at the ledge to uh, cover your throw out a hitbox to cover your getup. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can nair him here. Yeah, right. <laughs> there we go. He got it. There it is. Can he go for a bear? Ooh, wow! Nah. Dropped down perfectly. Yeah, well like just far enough away that he could avoid the hit while still making it back to ledge. Because I believe you go into free fall when you jump off that. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that if he stays on the Lloyd Rocket, like that kills pretty early. Like if Peach, if you stayed on and Peach got hit by it, you for sure would die. Interesting. It has a stronger hitbox when he's riding it. Significantly stronger. Yeah. It also has a larger hitbox like when it's like destroyed by damage. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So sometimes you'll see like somebody will die super early because like uh you know for me it'd be like a snake grenade or something will blow it up and or, or some some things can blow it up and and it'll just explode with more knockback. Right. Same plan as last stock, right? You want to zone out, avoid the avoid the back air, uh, avoid the forward air. Avoid the nair. <laughs> nair <laughs> is so strong, and it's so quick, too. You mean bear? That was bear, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that was bear? I'm pretty sure. The nair is very strong, too. Oh, oh almost got hit by that tree. <laughs> Up tilt. This <laughs> Pokemon's uh, like, like, why don't you just like nah, walk in front of this tree, maybe? Why don't, yeah. just, why don't you just try walking maybe. right in front of the tree while I like, chop it down? <laughs> Ooh, that was good, yep. That peep oh, so that's but why he cut the tree down, so he could have that ledge trap set, set up later. Yeah. Wow. I, Because I, I figure like you'd want the tree up so you could have that axe move, because 
so strong and uh, pretty safe if you drift with it. You can also extend your hitboxes on the tree. Um, uh, so yeah, if you yeah. catch a neutral getup, like you just extend the hitbox against the tree and it will it will catch a neutral getup a lot more easily. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah, that's a strong hey. tree. You ever have a tree grow right up in you? Uh, thankfully, no. It hurts. <laughs> As as you can see, <laughs> does not feel good. That was a pretty good game. Uh, uh, look at that five minute game though. I guess I guess that's that's the matchup. Daisy trying to get in the whole time. Yeah, that's just kind of how. If you play Peach or Daisy, you know you are going to get camped in most matchups because if if a Peach gets their hands on you, it's you are getting taken for a ride. Like zero to eighty, easy. I feel like we so, didn't see a lot of you know, zero to zero to seventy combos. Nah, like well, we yeah, Villager, Villager's a little bit harder to combo, yeah. so um, I don't think you're gonna see a zero eighty against him. So I guess I guess that's probably like the narrative of why Pokemon won, right? Like didn't yeah, get didn't get comboed early to seventy every time, sort of like force Lingling Ling to win neutral more times, right? Uh, uh, yeah. Then then you might expect a Peach to have to in order to take the stock. Now look at him nonchalantly on his phone. <laughs> Hey, what's he supposed to do? Ling Ling's in the bathroom. <laughs> you just gotta wait. Ling Ling gonna come back rejuvenated, emptied out, ready to ready to win. <laughs> He's like, alright, I'm a brand new Ling Ling. Brand new Ling Ling. Oh, he got a Mimic UT on? That's so oh, yeah. fire. Mimic you one of the coolest Pokemon I am I must admit, I don't know very much about Pokemon uh, nah. past like Gen 2, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you again? 28. Okay, that, that makes sense, yeah. honestly. I mean, other 28 yeah, there's year still 28 years who still like, play. I just don't. <laughs> yeah, so I understand that. Alright, so. Game 2, going back to PS2. Ooh, almost got the combo started, but not quite. Ooh, we got a Stitch Face, folks. What can we Oh, we didn't re-grab it, but <laughs> did get still like 40% damage off of it. I don't know about you, but I get Omega Tilted when they get Stitch Face, and I take 30 damage when, if I get hit by it. Yeah. What is it 30 damage every hit, really? And then they 30. can like combo off of it. They can, and they can combo off combo, it. Combo, re-grab it. Yeah. And it even at high percent, it'll kill you. At like 120, probably. <laughs> I, I love the tree play. Like I, I'm just so fascinated. Like every time he plants a tree, I'm like, ah, what what's gonna happen with that? Like I feel like something interesting is always gonna happen with the tree. Or he's got some he's doing something to like cover space with it that that is like above my head. Right. Great tomahawk crab. Mm -hmm. Very rare to see from a villager because that crab is on the slower end. Yep. And he's also floaty on top of it. Oh, see, yeah, I mean, you can extend oh, so the hitbox on the tree, <laughs> right? Yep, and it'll yeah, just hit you. Uh, cover jump, cover neutral get up. Sometimes it'll be your own. Ooh, that's interesting. Ah, the villager wall jump. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, he wall jumps in the, the Animal Crossing games, right? I don't know. I, I, I don't think he does. <laughs> I don't know why. Right, I feel he like he, can't, he has no mobility at all. No, you, you, you need ladders to cross, like, these little beautiful rivers. I guess that that's like really a shield good. break setup, right? Tree and tree on your shield, then axe on your shield is probably like a true combo shield break. Oh yeah, no, you're stuck in shield stuff for sure. Just gotta roll or something. You can't let yourself get stuck in shield. Ooh, he's trying to scout that roll in. Ooh, what's the punish get, here? Okay, get Nair. That's probably the best punish you could have gotten. Yeah, there. without a turnip in hand, yeah, there's I guess there's a 30% is about the limit. Wow. What a like that was a great build your own little combo there. I feel like your jab doing like a lot of work this set. Yeah. Interesting choice to ride the thing. What? Wait. He canceled the end lag on it by hitting the tree. That's a thing. Or the 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 free fall. Like what happened? How does there? he even know that? How do you even figure that out? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's a villager court out there where <laughs> uh, somebody just figured found out in it. 2018. <laughs> Honestly, first weekend. Oh wow! Gets a triple turn up. RNG gods oh, bless them. Yeah. That's right. The turnips are also. Everybody's got RNG turnips yeah, in this set. This is an <laughs> RNG turnip right? set. <laughs> 
drops like even look the same. I wonder if they're like inspired by the. I don't know. I wonder if they're I like mean, they're supposed to be the same. Yeah. Wouldn't doubt it. It's like a like a um, Easter egg. I have no idea where Peach gets turnips from. What game does uh, Peach have turnips? Super Mario Brothers Two. Uh -huh. You could play as Peach. And uh, you don't need to play as Peach to pick the turnips, but I think that's where they get it from. Well, Winky Face is also high damage, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. So... All right, hazmat ledge, 100% Up smash might put it down in there. Yeah, I feel like up smash would do it. Um. Peach bringing it back, bringing it back. We got an even set. Question is who can get the kill here? Elon just seems content to zone out. That tree just makes the zone so hard to break, doesn't it? Like, oh yeah. If you jump uh, over it, it's so telegraphed. Yep. You really just gotta pick, pick your spots well. See, that's good. Most most people will have to like full hop to go over the thing, but like Peach can like float cancel, so Peach is not as high as the yep. as the villager is hoping to punish. There's more mix-up potential in the um, in the height you can jump over the rocket. That's why, like, I do. Peach players will always complain about how oh we have no mobility, but like you have all these mix-ups with float, and they're Beautiful. gonna take it. Yep. Uh, guess guess off the lane. But yeah, no, like the character has mobility. It's just not you know your typical like uh, I don't know fox mobility. Right. It's just different. Right. It's not fast. It's it's like aerial. It's a you go. I don't know. It's it's hard to explain. And her, her aerials have like no wet land, zero landing lag. So but the vertical mobility mix up is is it, unique it, that's for, what it for is. Peach and Daisy, right? You can yeah. go like more heights than two. <laughs> exactly. Right. You have infinite amount of heights actually. Yeah, I guess you can you can cancel into float like at any at any altitude, right? Mm -hmm. Battlefield is the pick here. Good shield hold. Well, as you say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was that was great like response to that shield pressure from Villager and now you got the advantage state. Ooh. Mm. That crown does reach. Be you know, I didn't know that it was a crown that she like she. I did not know she did like the crown off her head until like I, it did that in Smash Four too. I did not know that for the entirety of Smash Four. I you think thought I, she was just smacking you. Yeah. <laughs> that nair is like a, it's a good uh, it's a good coverage tool, isn't it? Because uh, it lingers very long. Oh yeah. <laughs> Definitely one of the best nairs in the game. It's like it's like impossible to punish. You feel like you should be able to punish the parasol like 100 percent of the time. Right. They do it it's like oh, they, they, they're like it looks like they're sitting ducks, but they're just really not. And they just float back and forth, and you're like, no way, they're they're way too low, but they can always grab the ledge. <laughs> yeah, magnet hands in this game do be crazy. All right, villager's got a piece of wood in hand, which I'm hoping. Oh, I wanted I wanted a, a custom combo. You do. It's so cool when you use the other characters' items against them. You get a cute little combo. And like the wood in particular, because it doesn't come up very often. So if you've got combos with the wood, that's like you are a real villager <laughs> yeah. main man. Yeah, like you've that's been in the lab for yeah. sure. Wow, that's a good talk. Interesting. He doesn't get the second balloon back if he um, gets hit again. I, I feel like is what just happened. I didn't know that. Ooh, wow, I'm surprised Peach didn't get hit by that. Daisy, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same thing. Beautiful. All right, I like the item play from Pokemon. Like that's us using the enemy's items against them is always it's like very fun stuff. Somebody should make like a YouTube compilation of that. I feel like there's no you know top ten shield breaks. No top ten times you like did an awesome combo with the opponent's item. For sure. Honestly, I wouldn't doubt if that did exist. I hope it does. Ooh, that would have been death if that hit, but. Just out of range. Oh, okay. still gets still gets the punish.
Oh, that's, that's a good idea to float underneath that. That's... I wouldn't have thought of that. I'm not a Peach Man, I guess. Not in my option kit, but... <laughs> yeah, you don't really need to know that. See him cutting down the tree, you just, you just wait it out. It good. feels just, so fun. Yeah. It just feels so bad to be on ledge against Daisy. Wow, the text, man. It's, like, yeah, it does. This kid does not crack. He is always ready to attack. Wow, that and the trip. It. I think that had to have been a triple, right? There's no way that could have killed otherwise. That, that did feel like it killed very early. But it might have, yeah, I don't know. Does Battlefield have a, what's the ceiling like? Is it the same as like uh, It's uh, actually FD1? pretty sure that of all the legal stages, it might be the highest one. Oh, wow. Or No, it's not Town and City. I think it might be that or Town, one of the two. Could be tied even. Good tech. I missed that tech, you know, <laughs> if it was me. <laughs> Alright, he's got to just not get hit by any Peach Aerials, which is a lot easier said than done. Yeah. I mean, he can just shield all day, right? Like, the grabs are... Maybe they'll kill... Wow! Ooh, that was a call yeah. out. He went for that bowling ball so many times when Peach was off stage, and it never connected until right there. I feel like Lamb just knew he was going for that. Because Ling Ling, when he is actually that last hit, last stock, he will side the unledge like that as, like, a, a mix-up a lot of the time. And he side beat high, too, so I feel like he was maybe trying to hit Villager with it rather than snap ledge. Yeah. Yeah, no, he, he for sure wasn't trying to snap ledge at the very least. Okay, back to PS2. Taking it very slow this time. Nobody's really. <laughs> they're all throwing up projectiles, but uh, Ling Ling's taking a sweet time to respond to them instead of like falling for the traps, which is good. It takes a lot of patience to play against Villager. All oh, of the sets have been going to like three or four. Uh, you know, both both ways though. Minutes. I think you have to have good patience against both. It's like yeah. you were saying, like if you, if you just run in at a daisy, you're gonna you're gonna explode. Oh, that was interesting. Attempt to call out a roll in, I guess. Yeah. Ooh, we oh, we got a stage. He's gonna throw it away. Yeah. Interesting. Because he did not want to mess around with that. You think Ling Ling threw it away because he didn't want to like I, pocket I like, it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wow. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, that's that's the matchup, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I just I love the float just above the height of the Lloyd Rocket because it's so hard for Villager to put a hitbox in that zone to punish it. Yeah, because if he uh, just like tries the rising aerial, it'll be too high. Right. And he's, he's full hopping and like throwing out a fair, but it's just not hitting because Peach is at the correct height. Mm -hmm. That'll do it. Ah, yep, finds the forward air. <laughs> Pokemon loves his bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> that bowling ball comes out so much. It's for much. the fear factor. Like, even if yeah. it doesn't hit, it like, lets them know, like, yo, you gotta be scared of this. Yeah. You gotta pick the right you option. Like you, you're never, you're never picking options for free. So I mean, Ling Ling can just carry on with the same plan, like in the first stock, right? Just avoid the, avoid the projectiles really well. Be extremely patient now that you have the lead. Don't get, don't get hit by any nonsense, and and you know, try to avoid going off stage. Good early recovery. That was beautiful as well to avoid the wood rocket with the throw armor. I wonder if that tree two frames. <laughs> uh, honestly, knowing this game, it very well could. Uh, oh, yeah, you can't no. grab ledge to turn that way. You can't grab ledge if you turn backwards, no, even if you like, drop the parasol? Yeah, nah. Wow. I, at least I don't... If you, even if you drop parasol, I'm not sure about it. You might. All right, let me just got to... Hold this lead here. Yep. He doesn't gotta go for anything crazy. And he's like running away too, which I feel is appropriate. Just stay, uh, stay out of range of the, uh, of the villager projectiles to the extent you can. Mm -hmm. I would like to see more pairing of the projectiles. I, I feel like it's, I feel like it's good to, like I feel like it's very possible to parry like the fairs and the Lloyd rockets. 
Um, yeah, I'm not sure what you can get off of it. Maybe probably nothing. Peach but is, it's because Peach has bad mobility. Yeah, <laughs> you can't get anything off of it. So I guess it does matter. So. Yeah. All right, just uh. We're really not trying to take any risk right now. That's yeah. I mean, I mean that's correct, right? Like probably the way to go about it. Yeah. And they're at three minutes and thirty seconds, and they both have two stocks. Like this is this, oh, this is my go to time actually. Yeah. If it continues continues at this pace. Yep. It, yeah. If it's one stock every three minutes, it will go to time. Um, I mean, Pokemon. <laughs> I feel oh, yeah. like maybe needs to do something different other than this projectile game. Um, I mean, he's got a. Cause it's, it's working well enough. Yeah, but it's it's not. Because not, you don't want to risk going in when you're at 156. True. Like, you do not want to be in any scramble scenario when you are th the only one of the two at kill percent. It's great awareness from Ling Ling to know like exactly when Pokemon is throwing out like uh, uh, projectiles to know exactly how far that crown will reach to punish them. Like that's that's what got that stock. Ooh, another right. stitch face and a regrab. Oh. That's an easy 50. Oh, oh my, my god. god, I'm tilted if I'm Lim. I'm bad. <laughs> He just took 60 damage in two seconds. Yeah. If that. Beautiful. Yeah, this is looking like a Ling Ling's game. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Toad, that counter is the only counter in the game where I don't think it matters the strength of the move that it hits you. Like, it's always, like, the same, like, base damage and knockback as long as you trigger it. It can Lucario's be, like, jab. also doesn't matter what move hits you. It only matters how much aura they have. Oh, really? Yeah. That's interesting. Yep. But it does change, but, uh, you know, depending on the aura. Doesn't Lucario's miss sometimes? Yes. Lucario's yeah. will miss if you, yeah, like, yeah. hurtbox shift. Like, a pancaking Pikachu might get missed by it, like, with a back air or something. Freaking snake Pika. back air will, get, get will miss Pikachu. it. Even snake back air? Snake back air have low profiles, like, very well. You like yeah. can't you like uh, often does. can't shield grab it because some characters are too tall. Yeah, yeah. I think Joker, thankfully, as a Joker player, thankfully, yeah. <laughs> the standing grab does grab that. Yeah. Because if it didn't, I probably would be screwed because I just have such a bad shield grab habit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Game five. Here we go. Oh, switch to the this black is, villager. Yeah, this is a switch of the skin, right? I feel like switch of the Game skin, five. switch the skin, switch the mindset. He needs business now. This is his final form. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Pokemon has been switching them like the whole time. We just haven't noticed. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I do like the black dress on Peach. That's that's very you know, goth girl like. I mean Daisy. Love it. I mean Daisy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Definitely one of her better skins. Stage choice too. Um, I guess Pokelam gets the um, Pokelam gets the gets the wall jump, right? It feels like after that last game, Ling Ling kind of like has the has the matchup scattered out. So yeah, um, it's kind of like on Elam to um, adapt. Yeah, adapt to his uh, to uh, Ling's to Ling's adaptation. adaptation yeah. yeah. Oh, see, that's what I was talking about. The the excess, if you destroy it, it does it does more knockback. Yeah, it definitely would not have sent that far. Yep. Uh, Very good. Well yeah, air dodge there, there because like the only thing that will kill you is like an up air at high, so you just air dodge through it. Yeah. So if he just ate the nair, he at least would have still lived. That was good awareness that he had time to to punish that. Beautiful. I mean, yeah, that was just like a clinic on like, <laughs> just avoided so many things so resolutely, and then took the stock. Like that was that was a beautiful that was a beautiful stock take right there. Very nicely done. Oh, oh my that god! It lingers how for so long. That still the tree is sitting last. still and it smacked her in the face. <laughs> uh, so funny. That was a good. That was a good idea to like hold down on the up B, but Pokemon's ready for that. So. Oh, oh, oh. that was interesting. Nobody. Yo, was I don't think you. I don't bounce. think either of them were expecting nope. that. <laughs> Those balloons, they be getting in the way of shit, you know. Like. <laughs> they do. They really do that.
See, and it's it's really good awareness too. Um, Ling Ling knows that the, the hitbox on the Lloyd rocket basically doesn't exist until it's lit on fire. So after it comes out, you can fall right into it and like get a grab or get an attack. Um, but I feel like a lot of people respect the Lloyd rocket as a hitbox for too for too early. Um, Ling Ling seems to know that that's not the case, and he's getting some damage off of it because it's a really laggy move, you know. Right. So if you can break the zone and like get in there, you can punish it really well. Honestly, the, I feel like Ling Ling should be banning these triplats. I just think it's so annoying for uh, for him to get around all these uh, forwarders and backers with these triplats. Yeah. With these two side plats. But, oh wow, uh, that was that was an interesting little interaction. See, once again, we're at the same spot. Three minutes and 30 seconds left. Two stocks, medium high damage. Yeah. But we didn't go to time last time, so. Wow, yeah, that was uh, that was good. That was a good job. Yeah, he stuck around a little too long there. Yep. So now would be the time if I'm Ling Ling where I maybe considered attempting to push for time, push for time. Well, maybe not anymore. <laughs> that was a good call out. Like that, that was just has enough vertical hitbox to cover the peach float height. Ling Ling going for the throat right now. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping we see like a bowling ball kill in this <laughs> in this set because there's just yeah. been so many. Like I <laughs> just fine. Oh my god! Like, I don't think you kill. Oh, as you say that, commentators curse. Unbelievable! You lost Ling Ling that set, bro. <laughs> I also got hit by that. I think he thought his float height was just high enough that he I, wouldn't get hit by it. I think his down air also extends.